Hey guys, it's Pokey Dude. Time for another fake regular tips and trivia video. Today I'm going to teach you about growth curves. Now the first thing you might be asking is, what the heck is a growth curve? It's a hidden mechanic that I don't think the game ever directly acknowledges, which is strange because it's extremely useful in the early game, but pretty much useless by the time you finish part one. There are five kinds of growth curves that a servant can have. Linear, S-curve, reverse S-curve, semi-S-curve, and semi-reverse S-curve. Linear is pretty self-explanatory. Servants with this growth curve gain stats at a steady rate. Servants with an S-curve don't gain a lot of stats at the beginning and end of their growth, but they skyrocket in the middle. A reverse S-curve is just what it sounds like. These servants have high stat gains at the beginning and end, but stall out for a while in the middle. And semi-S and reverse S-curves are less extreme versions, being somewhere between their full counterparts and the linear curve. As a new player, you can take advantage of this knowledge to prioritize servants with the right curves for the part of the story you're on. For example, Matahari can actually act as a damage dealer during Orleans and Septum thanks to her reverse S-curve and the abundance of Rider class enemies in those chapters. But by the time you get to London, S-curve servants like Caesar or Shakespeare will start to outpace her as the recommended level of her fight increases. Now, by the time you hit Camelot, you should have your best servants at or near their max level, so curves mostly stop mattering. But if you're short on embers and struggling to keep up with difficulty, then it'll still be a good idea to analyze your team. Uh, servants with S-curves don't gain a whole lot of stats from their last 10 levels, while reverse S-curve needs them in order to uh, compete at all. Unfortunately, the only way to know which servants have which growth curves without leveling them up yourself is to look it up online. But uh, there are multiple wikis dedicated to this game, so you won't have much trouble finding that information. Oh, and if you're wondering about how increasing a servant's level cap with Holy Grails uh, plays into this, the short answer is it doesn't. All servants switch to linear progression for Grail levels, so there's no strategic reason to pick one servant over another for that, regardless of how high you raise them. And that about covers growth curves. If there's a subject you'd like to see me cover in a video, uh, leave a comment and I'll consider it. And if you'd like to help support the channel, I'd greatly appreciate if you uh, checked out my Patreon and coffee pages in the uh, video description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.